We are honored to host this important summit that brings together 150 women in parliament from across Africa, Asia, Europe, South America, and the United States, as well as partners and friends of Rwanda. Women in Parliament Summer Summit this year in Rwanda will focus on some core elements of how to advance society. And this is the role of women and peace reconciliation and security, the gender balance in politics and its role in societal change, the importance of constitutions and legislation to achieve that. And we do this with outstanding speakers from politics, from institutions, business and science. Rwanda's current gender sensitive policies were inspired by the experience gained during the liberation struggle 1990 to 94. We have seen how this country has been rebuilt almost from the ashes. And it is no wonder they chose to use women to rebuild this country. If Rwanda has taken the lead, it is left to all other countries to come out. With a 64% women in your parliament, Rowan, these women cannot fail. When you walk outside this parliament and you see Kigali and we go tomorrow into the different parts of the country, we can see how this incredible development has happened in the last 20 years. Walking around Rwanda, for me as a Sierra Leonean, was both a happy experience and a slightly sad experience because we're both post-conflict nations and I think they've moved leaps and bounds ahead of us. Um, but it was encouraging to see that they have succeeded because it means that we will also succeed eventually. This morning, we have gone to the National uh, Police Center for victims, which has impressed me a lot, that the government has been able to institute a center to take off the victims, gender victims, either sexually uh, molested, uh, assault, or AIDS patient, and they are provided treatment free, and they are all in one place. I was very impressed. The sense I got yesterday was that Rwanda has gone out of its way to make it easier for anyone to start a business. It takes six hours to register a company. Women parliamentarians are in the right place to influence the sustainable development goals before adoption of the 2015 United Nations General Assembly and subsequently monitor the implementation. In my opinion, the post-2015 agenda needs to consider more widely what is needed to achieve full equality between men and women. For good reason, the proportion of parliament or parliamentary seats held by women is one of the three indicators that we are chosen to track progress toward the third millennium development goal of 
promoting gender equality and empowering women. It is clearly true that it makes political sense, it makes economic sense, it makes social sense to invest in women leadership. We know very well that there is nobody who is to fight for women but women. And women must be determined, women must be confident, women must come up by themselves, women must fight for women. Women devote themselves to the life of the community in which they live and work hard to ensure political stability and constructive development in our country. We must be prepared to lead the change we want to see. You are powerful women collectively as a critical mass in parliaments, but individually. One woman parliamentarian, I was alone in my representing my political party, alone, one, can do a lot. Work cross party lines, this is critical. And network together. You have to continue the collaboration that has started here. You cannot lose what the others are doing. And as you and women, we will be trying to support all of you and the, way, the way we can. But you have a lot of work to do. You are powerful women, you can do it, go ahead. When I look at you and hear you this morning, I look at you and then I say, my goodness, this is the General Assembly in the United Nations or the Women Parliament. We're in here in not New York, but in Kigali. So, salute you. The women across the globe who are represented in this meeting are actually saying, we want to move forward. Women's rights are inalienable. Women's economic access is necessary. Gender equality is important. And we see the economic and gender equality coming together. And there's a major focus on sustainable development. I think that it's a successful meeting, both in substance and in networking. I would like to congratulate the people of Rwanda and the government on this achievement, unbelievable achievement that we have witnessed here. It's my first trip to Rwanda and I am completely overwhelmed. We thank you for coming together to, together to share ideas and inspiration on how you can be better enablers of an equal and just world. While we are not going to pretend that women can fix all the problems, I believe we can make a difference. Thank you for investing in women, because if you invest in women, you invest in the nation, you invest in everybody, because they take care of everybody.